Okay, let's start with the habitat of ear Habitats. Habitats. Okay, the habitat of E of E is aquatic. Aquatic slash. Where is it found? Fresh water slash. Where are they? Can see it in pond, can see it in lake, can see it also in river. So you have to mention it this way. Okay, so this is the habitat of sparagera filaments. Okay? So um, they can be found in the uh, array. Maybe I will explain that in my subsequent video. Yeah, so that's the habitat of specimen E. This is specimen E, spirogyra. So let's look at the habitat habitats of moko. Okay, moko slash rhizopause. Okay, rhizopause is found on dead matter. Okay, habitats. Habitat of this is dead matter. On the dead matter, okay, or dead things. Dead matter or dead thing. That is why this particular specimen, this particular specimen is saprophytic. In terms of, in terms of mode of um, nutrition, okay, yes, in terms of mode of nutrition, specimen A being a plant is a producer. A is a producer, sorry, excuse me, E is a producer, that is producer, is a producer. Why Moko is a decomposer? Please take note. E is a producer. E is a producer. Why F is a decomposer? Decomposer. Okay? E is a producer. F is a decomposer. Okay, now that we know this, you know, we just um, finished between E and F. Okay, somewhere here I have a um, crawfish. Okay, crawfish too is a consumer. So sometimes if I add that, um, uh, if I add that remaining of D, which is crawfish, okay, crawfish, I can arrange this in a, in a in food chain. Okay, the first food chain will be E producer. Which goes with crawfish, okay? Crawfish is the food chain between E, F, and D, okay? Then after that, you now have what? D. So where E is, where E is spirogyra, spirogyra, and the F is rhizopause, rhizopause. And then, okay, no, 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 this was going to be dead matter. So the next is, the next is D, which is cryfish, cryfish, and the next is going to be the last one, which is going to be rise of us, rise of us. Okay, so this is the food chain. Okay, this is the food chain, that means original feed on cryfish. I uh, mean, okay, sorry. Okay, crawfish feed on this. Okay, the reservoirs feed on this. We both are dead, are dead, decay. So that is on that important note. So let's discuss the classification of E and F classification. So we have classification. We classify kingdom since this since these two are plants somehow use division and here we use class so for specimen E this is for E sparagyra so this is the plant so we call it plant A plant A plant A because they are producer okay they are producer cell feeders so division to which this particular plant belongs this belongs to the division called talophyta so the talophytes, call it talophyta, okay? Talophyta is simply because of Italo's body. Now the body is not well differentiated into true root, leaf, and stem. So that's why that division is talophyte for specimen E. Sparagyra belongs to the division of talophyte or phylum talophyte. Then the class, it belongs since it is a green algae. Another name for talophyte is algae. Algae, okay? It's algae. Then the class to which it belongs, 
it belongs to the class called chlorophyta. Chlorophyta, okay. Chlorophyta here means that it is a green algae. So this means that it is a green algae, green algae, okay. Green algae. That's why it belongs to chlorophyta. Those body plants, they are producers. Okay. So these are the classification. So let's classify F. So for F, kingdom, kingdom, it belongs, we be, it belongs to kingdom planted before, but now it is a non-chlorophyllous plant, so we more like classify this as fungi, so it belongs to kingdom fungi. And then division, division of phylum, it belongs, phylum, it belongs, uh, this belongs, to the phylum, the phylum zygomycota, zygomy, zygomycota, okay, zygomycota, and then zygomycin will not be the class. Class is zygomycis, mycis, okay, zygomycis. So this is. This. So these are fungi. Reservoirs are fungi with non-cross wall hyphae. The hypha walls are non-cross wall, non-cross wall, non-cross wall, non-cross wall, non-cross wall. Okay. So that is on that note. Okay. Looking at uh, this classification, let's look at the. Uh, Features the features of specimen E, which is spirogyra. Okay, one of its features is that it's blue green. Sorry, it is green. It's this green alga, green alga. Because of the color, you're going to see the specimen. And this is the uh, uh, the normal time to see this on this because this is rainy season. So most often see it where a place where that is constantly underwater. So spirogyra can be can can be first even a gallon. Contain water that has been abandoned for several years. You can see some growth of green, green um, plants that are not having too root leaf and what stem. Okay, the plant is a filamentous plant. It's filamentous plant. Okay, so we are not going to do the video of the diagram in this uh, video. Okay, because to draw it in the on exam day that means you need a well microscope to see how the cells are arranged but one thing you must know for sure is that this classification you must, you must be well in tune with this classification because it is going to be very common the habitat very important okay then as well as to look at the features characteristic features of e and f then you can now look at what is the differences and similarities which could exist so let me start with the similar and uh, different um, Structural uh, features, structural or adaptive features of Sparagera. One I mentioned it is green. It is green. Okay, it possesses chloroplasts. The position of chloroplasts aid in photosynthesis. Okay, that is a specimen. E. Also, Sparagera filament also possesses a mucilage. Mucilage, mucilage. This mucilage is a slimy substance that protects the cell wall. Okay, this mucilage is used by the organism. In fact, the mucilage anchors or attaches the organism on the surface of their substratum. They anchor them. Okay, it's a slimy substance that anchors the organism. You must also know that since this is a plant, a simple plant, it also has cellulose. The wall, the cell wall is made up of cellulose, which is being protected by this mucilage. Okay, it contains pyranoid. Pyranoid. Pyranoid is where this where their food are stored as what? As starch. Remember that if they ask you how does specimen E stores food and how does specimen F store food, this question will come out. Specimen E, which is far as there, stores food as starch. Okay? Stores food as starch. Specimen F stores food as glycogen. Please take note. Specimen E stores food as starch. 
specimen F stores food as glycogen. Listen, the outer wall, the cell wall of specimen E is made up of cellulose, while the cell wall of specimen F is made up of chitin. Take notes, fungi. Okay, so that is a basic thing you must know between these two. Now, in terms of reproduction, this spore reproduces asexually by fragmentation. Okay, asexually by fragmentation. This reservoirs reproduce asexually by sporulation. Okay, by producing spores. Take note, spores and fragmentation. Take note is uh, is very very important. You know this. You know this is very important. You know this and know this. Please take note. This one is a producer. This one is a decomposer. A producer, a decomposer. So you can easily form food chain between this, this, and the other one. You just did it. Please take note of this two. Okay, very very important. Very very important. Now we go to the next specimen, G and H. G and H. 